Okay, for sale we have EPOS systems by IBM. This is a set up working example of the till for sale after switching on. This one actually is making a bit of sound. It hasn't been used for a few years. Uh, might settle down, I'm not sure. However, the till software I'm going to start shift as I start work so we have the layout of the buttons and options on this software example um, my customer comes to the till with an item it's at 3.99 and he gives me five pounds cash drawer opens up he wants a receipt the receipt was switched off Ooh, somewhere there there's a rapid action there we go so that's one example, that's ready for the next customer. Cash display on the back. And so, oh, so he's buying this one again. Accidentally scanned it and not on the system. So at this point you have the option to add them. Gum, one pound. One pound fifty oh. gum gum extra. There we go. Gum extra, one pound fifty. Place me over ten pound note. Or if it wasn't on the system, I could have gone. Uh, 150, no barcode. That's what we use. And obviously, other features would be the likes of um, 40p on cards. Um, we had a manual cashback button rung in, so £10 cashback. Um, uh, Paypoint, because we did that. And tobacco. Ooh, how old are you? Age OK and news and mags. Some PLU set up, some hair fashion at 125, which you can set up yourselves. Laces 85p, uh, different accounts for people, you can put it on um, their accounts. We're not going to use that. A uh, no-sale would obviously open the till. Um, they might be, say, a member of staff and you give them 10% of all of it. So you've got discount applied to everything. Um, and some other options here if they were, say, returning... Returning the clear sale, it's minus one, oh, minus one times. And, oh, they changed their mind on that one. Let's delete that from the below row. Software's amazing. We loved it. We used it for years. Oh, and he's buying another one of them as well. I keep scanning it. So, let's be honest. It's great software, and we're going to pay with... It's 39.74, so £50 cash. Or you could have had a voucher, check, account, card. If he's paying, paying into the account or putting it on the account. Um, so that's the user end. On this, it's set up as standalone, so it's got the user and the back office all in one. You can re oh, return to the sales side or the management side. Um, so you've got all the products. So if I go to the rapid action, you can see the price, you can see the cost price, supplier, and the barcode. Good thing about this software if you have 
the same product with multiple barcodes, you can add in different barcodes. Um, if I can find something with a barcode. Oh, they're already on the system there, glucose tablets. Two barcodes for that, because there's two flavors, but we just you stick them under one. Sell them for 59p, which is ridiculously cheap. Um, so what you can do there is you can change the price. For example, let's put them to uh, 99p. So let's save that. And then go back into sales. And let's scan the glucose tablets. And as it's local, it's instant price change, goes on 99p. Um, and if we were to go back to manage into our products, where well, we've added the gum, gum extra. It's come up as an unknown department. You can put it in. Mm, we just had food. Yeah, food, 150, put your cost price in, 60p, it's in 32, I have no idea how many it's in. Um, if you wanted a label for it, to print a label, uh, we used to have a Dymo label printer set up to this, um, where you can go into your print label screen. Um, if you want to add a label at this stage, I think you can. I can't really remember exactly how to do everything. Um, yeah, we had a QL550 set up to this. We might even have one kicking about with lots of parts. I'm going to list all the parts for sale. Um, anyway, let's go back into the sales. Let's finish that transaction. Let's keyboard and mouse set up to this. You don't actually need them because touchscreen works perfectly. Uh, on this example, um, let's go shift. We're going to end our shift and we're going to log in as a manager. Not, We're not going to start a shift, we're just going to manage it. It's the end of the day now. We are going to go to a report. Um, yeah, we're going to do a report for the day. Um, have a look. That's what we took. As you can see there, and cash back, we did nine pounds. Pay point, tobacco, because we had them set up as departments. And then print your day report. Job done, nice and easy, best software. And then, um, obviously you can close the software. You can return back to the login, but if I close the software, oops, see it's just Windows XP with software running on the top. Uh, the software comes with no support. It isn't current, it isn't supported anymore. It works as we sell it. If I were you, I'd copy a clone of the hard drive to make sure you've always got a working copy of it. If ever anything goes wrong, you can then put that back on the system and start again. Back up your database every so often. Um, I'm not software support, I'm just selling it as it is. So um, this is one working example. This is perfect example of the touchscreen working um, and we'll go from there. Thanks for listening.